Hi guys, how is it going? We will now build the second project of the generate yearly report exercise, the performer. And this project will process the work items sent to the orchestrator queue by the dispatcher project. So before we create the project, let's first update the orchestrator queue setting and we need to set the retry value to 2. So navigate to your orchestrator, go to the shared folder and queues tab and select the or click the more actions button and select edit and here look for the max number of pre tries uh, setting field and change it to 2 after that click the update button and next uh, let's go to the UiPath studio so here we will create a new project again using the robotic enterprise framework and we will name this project generate yearly report and let's also add the word performer so we can easily identify it now for the description i will just use this for my project description feel free to add your prepared description for your project after that just hit the create button and let's just wait for it to get ready all right so once the project is ready i think it's still loading all right once the project is ready here we will start by creating a new folder so you can right click from the uh, project name like this and select add folder and we will name this folder system one and hit ok and now we have that folder created and there are identical workflows from the dispatcher project that we also need for the performer and we will copy those workflows instead of creating them again so to do that we will use the uh, file explorer and from here go to the uipath main folder and look for your dispatcher project folder so once you found that just open it and go to the system one folder and here in the system one folder we will copy three workflows the first one is the system one close next is the uh, system one login and the system one navigate to work item so just copy those workflows and then after that let's go back to the main uipath folder go back to the uh, performer project and open the system one folder and paste here the copied workflow from the dispatcher project after that we can close this uh, window and just refresh your project window and here you will see the three copied workflows all right next step is uh, we will start developing the additional workflows for the performer project and the first one is the system one get client details so the task of this workflow is to get the client tax id from the work item details page so for the precondition the system one should be logged in and we should be on the work items details page so open your system one application and go to the work items page and look for a generate yearly report items then click this uh, magnifying glass icon to open the work item details so later we will start the workflow from this page and the post action for this workflow is that this tax id should be captured and it has one argument which is the out tax id so now let's go back to uipad studio and here right click on the system one folder and select add new sequence we will name this sequence system one get client client details then hit create and let's create the argument for this workflow we will name that out tax id the direction should be out and for the argument type that should be of type string and here the first activity that we need is the attached browser activity so go to the activities tab look for the attached browser activity and here i will just update the label name indicating the work item details page after that uh, click the indicate browser on screen and indicate the work item details page 
and let's just check the selector and it should be fine all right next we need a get text activity so look for the get text activity and here we will be uh, getting the vendor information since we cannot uh, just specifically identify the tax id we have to get the vendor information first so in the uipad studio i will just indicate that this is for the vendor information so in the, click the indicate a link and indicate the vendor information text now here we will create a variable name vendor information and we will assign that to the output property of this get text activity so here in the value field press ctrl k and we will name this value information that will create value information i'm sorry that should be a vendor information so i can change that here and that will automatically update the variable name in here all right now that we have the vendor information captured the next step is to uh, do a string manipulation so we can only capture the text id and not the complete vendor information so to do that we will be needing an assign activity so look for an assign activity and place that after the get text activity now for this assign activity um, this should be for the text id so for the two field input the out text id argument and for the value field uh, the syntax should be uh, vendor information that substring and we will substring the vendor information that index up we need the, to find a pattern so from the work item details page we need to copy this label before our target text so just copy that and put that in here and we will also add the length of the text to the index and then after that we will split and we need to split it up until the new line character so this is how you should do it don't worry i will paste the syntax in the description of the video so you don't need to you know manually type it but if you want to copy you can still do it so after uh inputting that syntax just hit the ok button make sure that you don't have any error if there is there's probably something wrong or you misspelled something all right so this is all that we need for this uh, get client details workflow next step is to test if this workflow is working as what we want to so to do that we will be adding a lag message activity and this will lag the capture tax id so i will indicate that in my activity label name for the lag level i will be using info then for the message i will just say tax id and concatenate the out tax id argument volume okay so now we can test this workflow make sure that you have the system one work item details page open and you have a generate yearly report sample open because if that's a different work items you might you might uh, get a different result so now here in the uipad studio just click the run file button and let's see all right, you can see here that it captures FRO65748. Let me just check if that's correct. That is correct. Maybe it's a good thing if we also check a different generate yearly report item. So I'll I'll use this one. And the tax ID here is IT2312. Let's go back to UiPath Studio and hit run file again. And now it captures IT231232. All right. And I think we can retain the lag message activity here. So later when we run the complete project, we, we still we have access to the uh, tax ID captured by this workflow. And that's all for this workflow. For the next step, we will create the download monthly report workflow. So I'll see you in the following video.